hi there in this video i am going to discuss how you can install python and pip on windows and add them both to paths so that you can use them with command prompt so first off head over to python.org slash downloads you will find this link in the video description i am going to download the latest version Once it is downloaded, you can open the installer. So here I am going to check this box that says add Python 3.9 to path because I want to use this with the command prompt. If I use the default installation, it is going to install in the app data local folder. It can cause problems later on with pip. So I can, uh, I will use the customized installation. All of these boxes are checked. Next. Here you can see the uh, install location. If I check install for all users, you can see now it is going to install in the program files. This is what I want. Now I will click on install. It is asking for the permission. So I will click yes. It will take a few minutes for the installation to be completed. So here the installation is complete. I am going to close everything. And then I am going to test if Python is working. So I will open command prompt window key plus R. I will type CMD here, press enter. So here is the command prompt. To check if Python is installed correctly, I will type Python space dash dash version. So here you can see Python 3.9.1 is installed and it is available in my path. Now I am going to tell you how you can install any Python module using pip. Now if Python is in the path, pip will also be in the path. So for example, I want to install Django. So I will type pip install Django. Hit enter and it will install the required module. You can install any Python module using pip. For example, if I want to install Selenium now, so I will type pip install Selenium and I will hit enter. It will download that module and install it. Now, if I want to run a script using Python, how I can do it. I have a script here residing on my desktop, which is hello.py. So from command prompt, I am going to switch to my desktop. So CD space desktop. Okay, wait. So it's, it looks like my desktop is in the OneDrive folder. So I will switch to CD space OneDrive OneDrive CD space desktop CD space desktop. Okay, now I am in the desktop folder. Here my script name is hello.py. So I will type Python space hello.py and press enter. Here you can see that the script is running. It has displayed hello Python. Now, for example, if I want to uh, run this script on double click, I can either assign this script to open with Python or I can create a batch file. I'm going to tell you how you can create a batch file. So I will open notepad here. I will type Python space hello dot py the same command we used in the command prompt. I will click file, save as, I will go to my desktop and save is at run script.bat. Now I am not going to save it as a text file, rather I am going to save it as a batch file. I will click save and close it. Here you can see the batch file. Now I, if I double click it, it is going to simply run that command and you can see the script is running here. I can press enter to exit it. 
So I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, you can ask in the video comments. Thanks for watching.